just to, just to be able to, to guide some people who are trading issues like this. When you're trading on speculative or just momentum kind of movers, you're going to get two types of companies that you will show. One of them may have realistic stories. There's something really going on. And they're what we call copycats. They only move because other issues are moving. And whenever people are seeing slight movement, then they bombard it and it creates its own initiative to move. But like the chairman said earlier, many of these, it's just, you know, it's just airy stories that may just come and go and, and they could literally disappear. So you have to know which ones that you guys are going to be moving on to. So can I have the next slide, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're buying this momentum-driven companies that have some stories backing them up, they will go through particular phases before you do that. Now, you know, I actually did this thing uh, back in 2018. I'm just refreshing it because this is the first time I saw Ditto and them moving. And they will go first through a phase of speculation, which is that part there you see on the left side. Now, after the area of speculation, it means people heard about a new story. And because if there's a new story, it creates some interest. The stock starts to surge. This is that speculative surge you see. And after that, what will happen is, remember, you're only going by a story. The realistic factor of the business has not come in yet. So after the initial surge, you will see that the specu speculators will begin to leave and the stock will attempt to be able to come back down. This is what we call an orphan period. Orphan because, you know, pinagbabaya ananda, the guys who are mm. market moving the stock, they take their profit, they run. And since the company just told the story and they're not actually experiencing the good business yet, the stock automatically will come down because valuations will not merit them being there. But over a period of time, when the company finally generates better business and there's finally earnings coming in, then the stock can start to climb again all over again. The picture you have there on the right side is a picture of Globe Telecom, which shows exactly that situation. It went through a speculation in, in in the early part of, of the chart there. And then what happened later on is it went through an orphan period. Uh, it went through speculation because they announced that they changed their business from Globe Mackay to Globe Telecom. And that was the first time they were going into the cellular business. At that time, they were still losing money. And they began to lose money all the way till uh, I think the chart of uh, maybe five or seven years later. If you, don't, you see that area where I put, they were still down 870 million so many years later after they announced they changed their business. And the stock went through an orphan period, didn't go up. But eventually when this company started to register even 2 million peso in profit the year after, yun, the stock price started to go up already. And then we saw a much more sustainable move. Can you go to the next slide, please? Hmm. No. So let's talk about that though. And so Ditto here on the left side went through exactly the same thing. In 2018, going to 2019, we heard stories about them trying to come in as a third telco. The stock surged during that period. At that time, I did exactly this presentation. And, and, and look what happened right after. It topped out somewhere closer to eight, fell all the way back to one, almost one peso. And stayed there for, or like the chairman said, it could stay there for the next one or two years or more until some new story comes in. And what was the new story in Ditto? Now there is this technical trials taking place, te te uh, testing the technology that they've actually put up. And remember, they're not profitable yet. And here we have another surge. So I don't know if you would consider this speculation or is the real business actually kicking in already? It could possibly be both, but there's still a chance it could be speculation because it might take several years before they go into profitability. So now you have a surge up there, and after this, what happens? It could possibly be another uh, another wind up. The chart mm. you have there on the right side, I will not tell you what it is, but that's uh, one of the issues that Edward was talking about <laughs> earlier, that you know went up to the moon, oh and maybe the company's name is related to the moon, if you were to understand <laughs> what I mean. And uh, I'm thinking this is speculation because they announced that uh, a new deal happened in the business. And it might take some time before you realize what the benefits of that deal will be. So normally after this, you'll probably get an orphan phase and that could take some time. Next slide, please. Hmm. Well, here are examples of some of the copycats. Now, these are very, very recent names of stocks that have been climbing up. And I'm just doing this over a period since the year 2000 all the way up to today you will see in the history of these companies that are moving today they've gone through this one after another after another after another and it seems that people have not learned over time 
and that you go through speculation and orphans, speculation and orphans, speculation and orphans. That's the difference between a stock with a story and a copycat or a pseudo story stock. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a company that has a real story, eventually, yan. But with these ones that are copying or just trying to be able to fabricate stories or just try to take advantage of the news, then they will just simply go from speculation to orphan, speculation to orphan, and they never go to that real business side. And that is the problem. And I think that's the reason why the chairman feels so alarmed about it. At the end of the day, what do you have? You have a lot of little orphan Annies. <laughs> oh my God. So my suggestion in the last slide, please. If you guys are gonna use a little technical analysis to help you, the whole idea here is when that stock starts to raise up already and it goes beyond what is normally normal and it goes too far away overbought or so far away, even from a short-term moving average, like a 10-day moving average, that should alarm you already. Bentahan ninyo paakyat. Huwag ninyo hihintay na bumaba ito because like Edward showed you, this could come back down very quickly and you're going to have a mass exit against that exit door. It's very difficult to sell during that time. So don't wait for that. And, and please, the volumes you should put, be putting in stock like this should be minimal. They shouldn't be a greater chunk of your portfolio because like he said, what you're doing here is you're taking very much gambling motions. So please protect yourself and don't engage a great degree of your, your capital here. It could be quite injurious in the, in the overall. 